Hey, welcome aboard. It's time to fly like an eagle. Uh, birds of a feather will flock together. So it's time to follow our hearts. Time to create some peace, fall in love, time to show gratitude, time to enjoy the little things and dream really big dreams. And it's time to believe in miracles, time to believe in naturally walking in the supernatural and naturally walking in the supernatural so we can discover our passion, time to be spontaneous so we can embrace absolutely every possibility. The word impossible itself declares that I'm possible. So it's time to believe believe in ourselves and most importantly begin to love ourselves for if we do not love us exactly as the good Lord made us then we can love absolutely nobody else because it's time to realize in order to thrive that our life is right now uh, and we must like ourselves and love ourselves exactly who we are for who we are and so it's time to move ahead like never before to appreciate what the lyrics of fly like an eagle has really always been about people know the, the the music but they don't understand the message and unless people understand the message then everything has been totally in vain and nothing has been profitable at all so it's time to, to realize that uh, uh, the leaves of this tree are for the healing of nations because uh, people need something a whole lot stronger in order to break them free from the old brainwashing that they've given unto themselves by their very old, mundane, loveless, and non-passionate kinds of faith that have always been nothing but a big waste of time, exactly as Isaiah 49, 8 predicted. For these are the days that I must reassign desolate heritages. And uh, this channel has proved something. I've been here about two years, and I have been preaching from day one the, the truths of the kingdom age. And it's time to revive our loves so that all things of love can finally be restored. And it's time to move ahead and reverse the curse by playing the song again and again. And if we will do that, then it's time to go forward with new understandings. For these are the days of World War Z where the great bear chewing the three ribs of Crimea, uh, Donetsk and Luhansk uh, where they, that great bear of Daniel 7, 5 will hear soon the words, now you may go eat all the flesh that you would like. These are the days of the trial of all flesh. COVID, Revelation 3, that has come bringing God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. I'm giving answers for definitions, people, and this has always been ignored as people turn to me and uh, at me and spit in my uh, direction as they purposely will not ever say a word to me, as they purposely never uh, lift up any of the teachings of this channel because all of their own teachings are loveless and has always been a waste of time. So these are the days burning as an oven Malachi predicted and one who was coming to come forth. It was foretold in Daniel twelve thirteen his name would be Daniel and that he would embrace his destiny and for that people, people should be listening to me. I am the most passionate preacher on uh, YouTube and people out there know it. That is the, the part that burns my ass uh, because they're just being holes, if you know what I mean, by not liking these videos, by purposely not wanting this message to go forth into the world in order to fan the flames of peace, hope, and uh, so therefore they're going to get all the opposite if they will not turn over their leaves so to speak. Maybe they need something stronger like this, something that they have never had before to get them out of their backwards thinking. But in this hour, it's time to realize uh, that the Lord's hottest divine fire is blazing away and it's come forth in these latter days as Malachi 4 says so the silver hearts will be traded in for brass brass ones and gold hearts will be traded for silver ones and platinum for the gold ones time keeps on slipping 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 into a future for all free birds of peace's greatest hope so that they uh, will never want to change 
but until they do, it's a pity when the nice people uh, will do nothing at all, which totally cancels out all the goodness that they're trying to do. So time is coming forth, uh, and it's taking great leaps of time, and it keeps on slipping and slipping into the arising kingdom age future of love that'll be as free as our most regal eagle of the eons. And absolutely, here's the exciting part, all people mounting up on his eagle's wings will soar so very much higher uh, because that dove of love has never allowed anyone to soar that high before. For we've all been looking through a glass darkly, but in this hour, in the latter days, it is foretold that the wise might finally shine as the sun. There is a mystery that has been exposed and revealed. Uh, the mystery of Revelation 10.7. The first is last and last is first and all nations have now come become the Lord's because he has sent his kingdom age covenant new message unto one and all and he says I shall be your God you shall be my people I shall forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts beyond that no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore for the Lord says all people of love moving forth as a little child shall know me for I am love and all those who love are born again of me first John 4 7 4 I am love but people hate absolutely hate this message because their religion is from the pit of hell their religion even though they say they are people of love they are not they are lying uh, and it's time to realize that we need to mount up on the Lord's, uh, the eagle of the eons, his widest wings, so that we can be carried up to the highest heights. And so let's soar higher than ever before. And oh, through the revolution, it's time, as the song says, it's time to feed the babies who don't have enough to eat. It's time to shoe the children with no shoes on their feet. And it's finally the time to start housing people who are living in the street. For the only answer to all of our problems is love alone, and his name is Jesus Christ Almighty, and he is the answer, only answer for all wanting to fly higher than any eagle has ever dared to go. And by his loving spirit of love, hope, and faith, it's time to go towards the sea, uh, the sea of actions. And no more wasted words as the wise begin liking all the videos of this channel. If you know that the Kingdom Age covenant of the Word of God that is written for all mankind... Uh, Jeremiah 31 is the kingdom age covenant and Jeremiah 32 verse 27 the next chapter over it declares I am the Lord God of all mankind I'm sorry but chapter 31 and chapter 32 were all one fluid chapter and mankind was erased and Christianity took the place of all mankind as all mankind became the sinners and it's all been a delusionary of uh, uh, bastardization of adulterated uh, love that has never been understood. So it's time to realize that if good people uh, are, are so damn lazy and so damn um, ignorant in their own brains that they cannot recognize what is of God and what is not. The Bible says anyone who declares that Jesus Christ uh, came of God in the flesh uh, is of God. Uh, but people, even though I declare that every day, people still ignore me because they don't want to see uh, any version of love's uh, uh, being fanned in this world to get out there that is not their own. Uh, they're they're narrow-minded prudes, anal retentive uh, in their religion, and they have become sinners, um, according to the word of James 4, because to know to do good and not to do good, like sharing these videos, is an evil thing. Uh, so people have unknowingly become antichrist here at this channel because they are becoming hard-hearted religious bigots by choice and they know to do good to share these videos and they have never uh, no one other than red ruddy uh, uh, I could name the people uh, heart um, uh, <laughs> You know who we are. I'm not going to name three, four people who have ever said hi in two years of me preaching the most passionate uh, messages on YouTube. No one likes these videos because they're all brain-dead religious farts who are shitting their religion out of unloving asses. And so it's time to realize 
that uh, it is absolutely true that all unbelievers, atheists, and all other people that have been affected by the judgmentalism and unrelenting condemnation by these holier than thou, than thou art must now pay attention to me because the shattering of the power of the holy people comes because God's word was only closed until the time of the end. Daniel 12, 9. For this is the hour of the latter day, Daniel, who I am, uh, and I have embraced my destiny to raise it up so we don't have to have uh, desolate heritages, empty and just resounding with lovelessness. And so in this hour, it's time to realize more than ever before uh, that even though this channel has 10,000 videos. No one has ever liked the kingdom age new covenant that the church thinks that it's standing on falsely. That covenant was never even given. It is foretold that it would come in the latter days and that it would be given unto Israel. Isaiah 62 2 says that they would be given a new name that the God would appoint at that time in the latter days. And their name is Chrislam. He has given me because Israel has inherited all mankind. Isaiah 50 four three and because they have inherited all mankind he has appointed that new name unto them Isaiah 54 3 declared that they would receive uh, all mankind into their midst because God has sent forth the covenant I am Elijah and I have been preaching my little heart and I'm sitting around here uh, making this video and uh, you know what here is the ultimate truth the ultimate truth is is this. Uh, it, it's time that we need to realize that things are not as what Christ taught. So welcome and love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. Uh, and then with let all with a brain left uh, that hasn't been zapped by all unloving religion, let them realize that it is time for the restoration of all things. And this was foretold to come at the end before Christ can come, that all things would be restored. I've been trying to restore all things, but nobody will listen to me. And for that reason, I've done everything in vain. Isaiah 49, 4 predicted that I would do everything in vain. And yet my work is with the Lord. People of, of God, listen to me once and for all. I'm, get, I'm ready to up chuck my cookies because religion is is born from the pit of hell and if we're to turn uh, the fight of uh, uh, the fight of fights back at the gates of hell we must embrace the truth the very truth that God is alive and he's moving in this hour and that all things are restored with his kingdom age covenant given to all mankind not to Christians to all people of love so that love might be revived in the land so I do not acknowledge uh, that I'm talking about this this uh, world needs drugs uh, uh, for any other reason than to get them over their insanity of their backwards obsolete religion just as it has been foretold and for that reason in Hebrews 8 it is right out written that when you hear these words that uh, all religion on earth would be obsolete and that all the impure would then begin blowing away because people cannot even um, uh, have any brains enough to realize that at this channel people have been seeing things that are not there but I hope you can see this because this is insane uh, not to take some drugs if you're so brain dead you can't recognize love so <laughs> I'm, I'm getting sick of religious people. They're just a bunch of assholes.